Welcome to Indie Resources' first video on how to build a multiplayer game in HTML5 using Impact and Node. Um, this tutorial is basically, it's, it's going to be a mix of quite a few things that I've been asked to make tutorials on. Um, one, HTML5, you know, another one is Impact, a huge one is Node, um, JS and Socket.io and WebSockets. Um, plus, people have been wanting some more JavaScript tutorials and things like that, so I'm combining it all into one tutorial. Someone will be able to get, um, everyone will be, be basically be able to get everything they need out of this, or at least chunks of whatever they need. So if you don't want to use Impact but you want to learn Socket.io, you can. I'm going to try to separate all that. If you just want to learn Impact and not Node, that's fine. You can learn some JavaScript here. If you don't, you know, it, it, there's a lot of things that's going to go on in this tutorial, and it's going to be step by step. And I'm going to try to make the each video its own separate entity to where you can just watch it and, and learn what you need to learn. But I recommend start from finish let's let, let's let's all build this game together and let, let's make a, a really cool game and everybody learn along um, the big thing about socket io and node that i hear is that there's no documentation and it's true there's very little there's no examples hardly there's definitely no tutorials that i've found that are any good anyway i mean i pretty much just guess my way along and that's one thing i definitely wanted to cure here let's, let's i wanted to get a video out on those two because it really is simple it's incredibly simple and it's harder to get it installed and running like than it is to even use it. I mean, it's really ridiculous in a lot of ways. But once you get it running, it's a breeze. You'll you'll love it. Now, saying that, I'm not an, I'm not a super expert on it. So, hopefully, some users who 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 know it or may catch something or learn something as we go can also show me some things that we can share along. Now, basically we're going to be building this full HTML5 game it's real time and, and just to give you a, a quick example which most of you have probably already seen and I didn't want to go too far with this you can see I have the 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 test I did here um, of just a, a quick multiplayer game using real time this is all through the browser but this this isn't what we're going to build but I just want to give you a quick example of you know one thing that we can do here and we also have um, the um, the viral dawn that I created that it's some more multiplayer type stuff in a building shooter game and there's so, th so there's some different things that we can do and different things we're gonna learn um, we're not really gonna do any of these games but um, I just want to give you a quick example of the type of game that we're gonna be doing <clears throat> So, you know, why are we going to use this? Why are we going to do this? The big thing about HTML5 and, and JavaScript and using Impact and everything else is there's no real download. Um, you, you, of course, are going to, you know, cache a lot of the images and things like you do when you go to a normal website, but as, as far as a true client download or any kind of a plug-in or anything, there is none. As long as you're using IE9, Chrome, Mozilla, a, a newer web browser, you're good to go. You don't, it's Facebook compatible, it's, it's um, PC, Mac, Linux, your phones, any smartphone, pretty much your tablets it's ready to go ready to play and that that to me is the coolest element of this you you don't have to make a special version for every different type of phone for all the different it's just ready to go out of the box and we are going to have to look at some touch screen type stuff and learn that but that you know that's going to come later on and that that's not really not that hard either <clears throat> so it, it really makes a an excellent platform to work with um, what do you need? Uh, text, any kind of text editor, which I'm assuming you've already got because you've been coding before. And if you're brand new to it, you can get you a free text editor. I'm going to use Komodo in, in this because I just love Komodo. Um, actually, Impact what got me into it. I used to use Dreamweaver, but it's it's nowhere near as cool as Komodo. Um, but there's a ton of free text pads out there you can use, and, and or text editors and things that you can use that you can even use your regular text text pad, which I would wouldn't wouldn't recommend. But make sure to have one of those ready. A good browser, of course. Don't come in here with IE6 or even 7 or 8. Um, don't even really use IE. Get you Chrome. I'm going to be using Chrome because the the the, the web tools and the, and the and the debugging tools are just awesome. Mozilla's got some good ones too, and and really I use both of them because Mozilla has a really good report error reporting one. Chrome has a really good um, JavaScript. Um, debugging tool that I just love so we'll, we'll be using kind of them both but mainly get Chrome. Chrome's what I'm going to be using the most of so if you want to follow along with me get Chrome which really you should already have um, node.js and socket.io oh, of course I'm going to show you guys where to get them they're free and, and how to put them together and most importantly impact now um, like I was saying you, each person can kind of get their own out of this. Um, there's there's going to be JavaScript, there's going to be Impact, there's going to be Node, all that stuff. But I, I fully, wholly recommend um, Impact. Impact 
is and if anybody know anybody who knows me knows that I've used nearly every game engine out there and I will say um, impact is by far the best and I'm not getting paid to say this I'm not getting you know anything free for this this is just on my own um, I'm telling you this engine is wonderful and if I had to pay three times what I paid for it I would do it it's 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 that great um, it is $99 and before I scare a bunch of people off and they instantly hit stop or whatever know that, that it's worth every penny and even if you don't want to buy this or can't afford this right now there's still other things in this tutorial that you can pick up and, and you may want to go through it just to see where it ends up so and, and it may talk you into getting AC, and, and getting into impact because it's, it's sped up my developing time so much you, you, it, take it this or directly just coding it from scratch and it's just an amazing difference um, if you want to check out Impact, you can go to impactjs.com. Go to the forums and check out some of the games that are in there. Um, there's um, lots of different games in here. You can check other people's games. And, and there's, I'm telling you now that this community is awesome. They're they're nice. They help you. It's one of the most helpful communities uh, um, I've had that I've that I've been on. Um, it uh, it really is it really is great. So check it out. They have great doc documents. They have um, some cool tools and and stuff like that. But um, it's definitely worth every penny. So if if you want to follow along exactly, you want to go ahead and get Impact, and you don't have it, get it now, and then you can get on to the next tutorial, and I'll I'll show you what to do with it from start to scratch. But um, even if you don't want to buy Impact, and you, there's going to be other th elements in this in this video that you that you can go with. Um, the next is Node.js and the Socket I/O. This is going to come a little bit later because we don't need it right now. We're not ready for multiplayer, of course, because we haven't even got started. So I am going to show you, I am going to put it in the description when I start it. And for those of you that are just wanting to learn it, it's going to come up soon. I want to go ahead and get that out of the way as far as getting it installed because, like I said, there's no documentation hardly whatsoever. The examples are not, you know, not the best. Um, so I'm going to kind of walk you through everything. And literally, it takes longer to put it together and install it than it does to even use it. It's a very, it's actually simple once you get it working and the same with Node.js so we're, we're, we will cover that um, shortly in, in some upcoming videos. <clears throat> now what are we building? We're going to build a 2D multiplayer real-time game. Um, you, you'll be able to move real-time and all that good stuff. It, uh, what I'm thinking is, and, and like most of my tutorials I base it off the community. You guys can make suggestions and um, we'll, we'll go with that. And uh, we'll try to we'll try to work with his suggestions and make the game towards that way. Um, I, what I'm thinking is it's kind of like a board game style mix with maybe some Fallout One where it's got that it's got that real timeness to it, but we're also turn based, um, along with some like maybe some collectible attributes like collectible cards that you can use against en enemies or icons or whatever. I'm trying to think of a dynamic a game enough to where I can hit all elements of what people are wanting to build in a game. And like I said, you guys can come on and put comments and and things like that so we can we can kind of shape it around when everybody wants um, it will be fully multiplayer using both real-time sockets and um, SQL database I'm using a SQL database or MySQL basically for persistent players so you can log in all that good stuff plus I want to teach that side of it um, for those of you that, that that may need that side of it especially going from JavaScript to the to the PHP to Ajax we are gonna and that's something I didn't add in here we are gonna be using some Ajax so what are we gonna learn in all this I'm hoping that we all learn, of course, HTML5, CSS, H, uh, regular HTML, of course, which, you know, um, it's just going to be a part of it. JavaScript, PHP, SQL, um, Node, Socket, some crons. Um, I, I get a lot of people asking about crons and a lot of people asking about uploading data to a web server, so we're going we're gonna to implement all that into this. Photoshop and graphics, which, I'll be honest, my graph if, if you couldn't tell, my, my Photoshop skills aren't exactly the best, so um, I, I have a buddy, I'm hoping he can, ha he can help us out with some tutorials on that. And then, of course, impact. For those of you that want to learn impact, it's going to be a huge part of this. Um, <clears throat> so in this first video, I'm going to kind of end it now, just kind of giving a description of what we're doing so I don't waste anybody's time. Um, and then in the second video we're going to get everything installed and I'm going to try to start on some coding by the, in the second video and get us all set up to where we're, we're basically starting from scratch. If you've never coded in any of this before and you're coming fresh into this, don't worry about it. Um, um, I've been told I'm excellent at, at, at getting people started and, and explaining things well, so I think we're going to be, uh, I think you'll be, you'll be alright here. Don't let any of this kind of overwhelm you. If you've, if, of course, if you're an expert um, coder, you're just trying to uh, learn some of this other stuff. Um, I'm, I'm going to make it separate to where you can just pick up on whatever video you want and I'll try to not to make it slow enough to where you, I bore you to death on it because to be honest with you I'm not the greatest coder I may make some mistakes feel free to let me know just don't chew me out on YouTube or whatever um, but 
uh, it'll it'll definitely I think um, enlighten a lot of us on on a lot of this stuff, and I'll learn a lot of things as I go along. So anyway, let's get started on our second video.